It's an unimaginable grief. Hamid Ismailion lost his wife Parisa and their only child, nine-year-old Rira. You know, first thing that comes to your mind is that you don't believe that. I still don't believe that it happened. He's supported by close friends as he prepares for a difficult journey to fly to Iran to identify the bodies. I said, I have to go. And when I said to myself that I have to go, I felt better a little bit. Because at the beginning, I was telling them that, you know, send over the bodies here. I want to bury them here. And, uh, but then I said, no, my, my, you know, my mom and my mother-in-law, they have rights too, so I have to go back and, you know, share the grief, I think. And he was already so worried about his family before their flight took off, given the tensions between Iran and the U.S. And then the missiles launched into Iraq. While this is difficult, he wants to share his family's story to honor them. There are tensions in Iran, but I don't want this thing to be forgotten. So people will talk about Iran and U.S. and everything, and these people in this plane will be forgotten. I don't want that. He says his daughter loved sports, played piano, and was gifted at languages, spoke English, French, and Farsi. We had a very, very, very great relationship. I was teasing her all the time, and, you know, she was a funny girl, and she was the best of everything. He had to make a difficult call to her school in Richmond Hill, Adrian Clarkson Public School. I told them that, okay, Rira will be absent forever. So that was a hard moment for me. I said, she was an amazing girl and I have to talk about her. And my wife too. His wife was a dentist, like him. They met in university in Iran and had a practice together in Aurora. He says she was a perfectionist, smart, and that he was always learning from her. I think it was not right. I think it was not fair what happened. So I wanted to talk about that because I st I'm still thinking about that flight. I can't bring them back, but I want to find the, like the, what's, what, what, ha what happened. As he grieves, he's also looking for answers from the airplane manufacturer, the airline, and the airport they flew from. Lorenda Radikoff, CBC News, Richmond Hill.